Hello everyone. In this video, we'll learn how to make an AR using SOLIDWORKS. Select the file option and then select new. Then a new window will appear. Then in that select part and then click OK. Now select front plane to start sketching. Then go to the sketch option and click on the line option. Now uh, draw a reference line. This line will be used for the construction of the main sketch as it is and it is not counted in the main sketch. Now select line option and draw an inclined line. Now specify the dimension of this line. Remember that to escape the sketch tool, press escape on your keyboard. Keep this dimension as 4 inch. And then define the altitude as 6 inch. Now, select the line option to draw another line segment. Select the midpoint of this line segment and the end point of the other line segment and apply coincident condition. Now, define the dimension of this line segment as 45 mm. Now, select the line option in the sketch tool and draw another line segment. Specify its dimension as well. Now, after this, mirror the line segments about the construction line that we have drawn using the mirror option. Select the two line segments and select the line about which these two line segments have to be mirrored and click OK. Now, exit the sketch. Right click and then you can see all the options available like weldments, sheet metals that you are going to use in this video. So uh, now you can, since you can see the weldments, select the weldment option and then you can do the further work and select the option of structural member from the weldments. Select the configuration of the pipe that we'll use. Now select the line segments that we have to convert in the pipe. Now, to edit the cross-sectional dimension of the pipe, click the option of pipe in the tree and then select sketch and then select the option of edit. Now you will see the sketch of the pipe and then specify the dimension according to you of the pipe. Now, after specifying the dimensions, exit the sketch. Now you will see the pipe according to your dimension. Select the option of gusset from the weldments and select the surfaces between which 
the gusset have to be made. Now specify the dimension of this gusset. There are many options available to how to define the dimension of the gusset. After specifying everything of the gusset, click OK. Now you will see your payout completed, but there is one thing left that is weld bead. Select the option of weld bead from development and select all the edges that you have to weld. You can select new weld path from the above option to define different paths on which you have to apply the weld bead. Now remember, the path that you'll select has to be continuous, otherwise you have to declare a new path using the new weld path option. Select all the edges where you have to apply the weld bead. After selecting all the edges, click OK. Now, a uh, weld bead is not visible, so to make it visible, click this option. To remove the annotation, click this option. Now, you can see the weld bead that you have applied on the edges. Hide the sketch. Now to provide the color to the AR, click on the render tool then select edit appearance. Now you can see all the options from where you can define the color of the AR. Select all the bodies so that you can define their colors. Select the color of AR as you wish. Now you can see that the AR is fully ready. Now save the AR. That's all in this video, please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel EGS Racers. Thank you.